Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we get into today's episode, there are a couple things that I want to mention. The first thing that I want to mention is that you know how we can trap Kakona in here like a little lab rat, and we figured it out last episode? Well, Yandere Dev has been working extremely fast. Actually, let me fill this up so you guys can see what I mean. He's been working extremely fast with the updates, and after my video went up, he fixed this bug right away. But that's what we want, right? We want there to be bug fixes because we want this to be basically a bug-free game. So can we give Yandere Dev a round of applause for coming through with the quickness with the updates on the Kakona Labrag glitch. The second thing that I wanted to mention is the triple bucket elimination. A lot of you guys were saying that the reason why the gasoline stuck on Kakona's clothes instead of the water and the blood is because I put the gasoline on the first door, but if I put it on like the second or third door, then whatever liquid is inside of the bucket that's on top of the first door is the liquid that's going to stick on them permanently. So let's say I put on water in the first bucket and put on top of the first door, then people are saying that that's going to be the one sticking onto Kakona's clothes. So we are going to test that theory out right now. All right, guys, got my buckets firmly in place on both sides. Got the matches on the bottom just in case I can set her on fire. Got the that dude sunglasses. And there we go. So she got splashed with the water. Really just throw water on me? Why would someone do this? Why would someone do this? Man, it's your fault you didn't see that big ass bucket on top of the doors. Okay, she's coming this way. The gasoline is next. Let's see if the water is still going to take the place of the gasoline. No, the yellow liquid what is on top, is and it was this? the second bucket. Okay, so if the blood is present when she goes on this one, then we won't be able to set her on fire. My thing was that I said in the video was that the gasoline was so strong that it overtakes all the other liquids. And a lot of you guys were saying that it was just the first bucket. But let's see. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fuck you. No, you're not going to the locker room. Kobe, oh shit, what the fuck? She touched me and she got on fire. I guess that's because with these that dude sunglasses, I'm just so hot. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. This time I'm gonna make sure that I crouch so the bloody bucket gets in her this time. So she's coming here, the bloody bucket is on top. Still got my matches, gasoline on her uniform like it ain't no thing, and there you go. What so I was right. This? The gasoline sticks it on her no like matter what. No gasoline? matter what order the bucket is in. First, second, or third. The gasoline is the strongest liquid and it won't go away. So that is true. Let's get on to the other myths. What if you have gloves and a mask on while holding a corpse? Will the police identify you? What we're going to do is uh, we'll just dispose of the weapon. We'll dispose of everything but the mask and the gloves. Holy shit. That actually looks pretty damn terrifying. Tell me you guys aren't seeing that in your nightmares tonight. So I'm just going to throw away the knife. And then I'm not going to throw away the uniform. I'm just going to forgive my sins real quick. And then we're going to pick up Midori's body and we are going to see what happens. I actually think we're going to get caught. I really do. <laughs> because we have to get caught. We have a body in our arms. We have all the evidence that we need. I mean, unless it looks like we're helping out Midori. But obviously it doesn't because we have blood all over our mask. So we are going to end the day right now. And we are going to see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school until any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. I hope she does. I mean, I hope she sees Yandere-chan holding Midori in her freaking arms. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. Are you serious? Are you serious, police? The police notice that Yandere-chan's clothing is bloody. They confirm that the blood is not hers. Yandere-chan is unable to convince the police that she did not commit murder. Okay. All right. Yandere-chan is arrested by the police. She will never have senpai. Okay. Well, that worked. But let's see what happens if I dispose of the bloody mask and the gloves. Pick up Midori's body. Let's see if the police will get me then. All right, guys. Here goes. I disposed of all the evidence. I cleaned up all the blood. I'm just going to pick up Midori and the school day. And let's see if the police will arrest me. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Midori. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police find bloody clothing that has traces of Yandere-chan's DNA. Okay, there you go. So to answer the question, if you have the mask and the gloves on and you pick up a body, the police will identify you by the DNA on your clothes. And if you do it the way that I just did, where you dispose of everything and then you pick up the body, the police will still find you anyway. So that is true. On to the next one. If you dismember a student, say for this instance it's Ryoto, and show his head to Pippi, will she recognize her love and attack you? 
or will she run away like the other students? That is actually a very interesting question, and we're gonna figure that out right now. But first, I'm gonna play Major League Baseball with the back of Ryuji's head. <clears throat> then, holy shit. Did you guys see that? Ryuji got hops. Did I call him Ryuji? I've been playing too much Persona, guys. I mean, Ryoto. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna call you Ryuji for today's episode. So we are gonna dismember Ryuji. And if you guys don't know who Ryuji is, don't worry about it. I think, though, that Pippi is just gonna be shocked, and then she's gonna run away with her tail between her legs, and she ain't gonna do jack shit. But if she does, then that's gonna be cool as fuck. So let's teleport to the gaming club, and how are we gonna get her attention? Alright, showtime, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody place your bets in the comment section below. Pippi is coming out the door. She's about to see her current lover's head in my hands, and let's see her reaction. Oh my god, this can't be happening! What, you gonna fight me? Put your fists up. Come fight me. Oh, you're not going to fight me? Yeah, because your mama raised a pussy. Well, that was actually really easy to answer, guys. If you have Ryoto's head in your hands and Pippi, who actually has a crush on Ryoto, sees his head in your hands, she's not going to do jack shit. She's just going to run away as opposed to fighting you like she normally does. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. If you take Kona's phone on Thursday... What will she do before class starts? All right, as you guys can see, there is a clouded and naked Kokoni that just walked by. Did not want to show it, so I don't have to censor it. We are going to sneak in here, and we are going to steal that cell phone right now. <laughs> 8.08 a.m. Kokona is now walking to class. I have her big purple cell phone in my pocket. I wonder what she's going to do when she gets to her seat. Because look at everybody. They're on their cell phones. They're staring at blank white screens. Let's see what Kokona does. What is this sorcery, Kokona? She has two phones, guys. She has the phone that I have in my hand right now, and she has another phone. What is everybody looking at on their cell phones, by the way? What are you looking at? Blank white screen, pretending you're scrolling? That's what I do because I'm socially awkward. What about you? Same thing. Okay, everybody's going on that white screen trend. I see you guys. Forget Twitter. Forget Instagram. Forget YouTube. It's all about the blank white screens. Right, guys? Am I right? Up top. Well, except for Oka. She's not a hipster. She's not even looking at her phone. That's the new thing. Don't even look at your phones. What about you, senpai? Who you texting? Better not be Osana or else. But anyway, guys, if you steal Kokona's phone and then follow her up to the classroom, she's going to pull out another phone. I don't know why she has it. I don't know how she has it. All we know is that even if you steal her phone, she has another one. On to the next one. What happens when you leave a bucket of blood and end the day? I'm assuming the person that asked this question means, like, if you dispose of all the evidence but a bucket of blood, what's going to happen? And we're going to figure that out right now. So we're going to lead Kudeta inside of the men's bathroom. She should already think this is suspicious because we're both girls. But surprise, motherfucker! You guys see that right here? It doesn't look that red. But trust me, that's all Kudeta in there. Everything is disposed of. There's no bloody footprints anywhere, no knife in my inventory, no nothing. So we are going to end the day, and we are going to see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. Like all other students, Yandere-chan is instructed to leave school. Okay, so there's no body found. All right. I didn't expect that. I actually thought that they were going to find, like, some kind of DNA evidence or some shit. But apparently nobody gives a fuck about the blood in the bucket. I'm actually going to try this a slightly different way because for some reason that didn't satisfy me. That's what she said. I don't know if it was because the bucket of blood wasn't red enough or whatever. But I honestly thought that the police were going to find a body. So what I'm going to do instead of doing it the way I just did, I'm actually going to put Oka inside of the grinder. Make some good old Oka Cola and instead of disposing the bucket, I'm actually just going to leave it there and end the day and we're gonna see what happens i'm sorry oka i'm really sorry for doing this you're one of my favorite characters i apologize but we gotta do this we gotta do it for the myths so let's put 100 pounds of oka inside of there and activate and that is all you need for a tall glass of oka cola ladies and gentlemen that's the secret ingredient so we got everything mopped up there's no more blood okay i don't really feel like i need to dip the mop inside of any water because we're gucci and then we are just gonna leave this bloody bucket right here we're gonna end the day and let's see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. Like all other students, Yandere Chan is instructed to leave school. Okay, so no matter what I do, no matter if I do it the old fashioned way and just end a life food or put someone in a grinder and make, let's say, Oka Cola, the teachers apparently won't find anything suspicious about a bucket of blood. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. If you set a trap above a door, if you set a trap above a door and get a delinquent to chase you, do they run? Do they run straight through the door or set off the trap? You know what, guys? For this last myth, you know what I'm feeling? 
I'm feeling like this is going to be a one take J type of thing. Like, I don't have to redo this one over and over again. We're going to do this all in one try. So we are going to set up the trap right in the front door. And then we're going to turn into Falcon mode. I'm going to punch somebody's ass up. We're going to get a delinquent to notice us. Bada bing, bada boom. We're going to answer this bitch real quick. And if you guys didn't know, the reason why I'm in Falcon mode is because these delinquents are fast as fuck, boy. All right, here they come. I'm oh, shit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Open the door. Go. Oh, shit. Don't go here. Don't go here. Uh, we're oh, fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. She was way faster than I thought. All right, let's do this, guys. Did he see me? Did somebody see me? Nobody saw me. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. You got to be so fucking fast, girl. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I heard that motherfucker. Okay, put it up there. Come on. No. Fuck. What the hell? This bitch went through the floor again. Oh, my God. All right. New plan. I'm going to run up onto the roof. I have some bucket traps set up there. Hopefully, they run through it, and then we can answer this question. Fuck. Oh, God. Damn. All right. We're going to let him come all the way out here. You guys see him? And then juke him. Go, 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 go. We're going to answer this once and for all. We're gonna answer this bitch once and for all. Oh my god, he's so fucking fast when you stop. All right, so he sees me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the body all the way out here, and then I'm gonna switch Midori for the bucket real quick. There you go. I'm not going down. Oh shit! Oh god, they're talking shit. Where is he? I don't see him. Where did the delinquent go? Oh shit, there he is. Okay. Damn, he's so fast. Look how fast he is, guys. It's insane. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh my god, he's catching up to me! What the fuck? No! I got it this time. The delinquent is not near me. Let's set the trap. Oh my god! Really? These guys are fast as fuck, but I know what to do now. We're gonna drop the body. I'm gonna wait for him to come over here. Come on, you little bitch. Come on, you little bitch. Yeah, you're gonna go through the fucking hill? You're gonna go through the hill? You think I care? Let's go. 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 Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my. Come on. 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 Grab it. Oh my God. Alright, you know what guys? I tried this, I kid you not. I tried this over 20 times and each time they went through every single wall. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna go through a door that has a bucket trap on top of it. If you guys wanna try that out for yourself, be my guest. That is more like a challenge than an actual question. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, dude!